This is the GED review video for linear equations. There are certain steps we should follow when solving equations. Now, not all equations will need to have all of these steps, but it's good to know what order you should do things in. The first thing is, if you see parentheses, you need to distribute. You should then combine any like terms that are on the same side of the equal sign. And notice it says no inverse operations. Inverse operations is just the opposite operation. Okay, when we're trying to move things from side to side, that's when we're going to be doing the opposite. But if we're just dealing on the same side, there's no inverse operations needed. The next thing is going to be to get all your variables to one side of the equation and all constants to the other side. And that's when your inverse operations will be needed. And finally, we're going to multiply or divide to get the variable by itself. Okay, now the first example is very basic. x minus 8 equals 10. To get rid of minus 8, we must add 8. And whatever we do to one side, we need to do the other side. So we get x equals 18. Over here, negative 7 minus x equals negative 5. We need to get rid of the negative 7. To get rid of negative 7, we must add 7. And the reason we're doing the inverse, because negative 7 plus 7 equals 0. And if you have 0 with your x, then it's just going to be your x. In this case, though, we actually have negative x. So we need to bring negative x down. And we have negative 5 plus 7, which is 2. And the problem is we don't want negative x. We want positive x. And we're allowed to switch that sign as long as on the other side, we also switch the sign. Our next example is a two-step equation. Now we have variables on this side, which means we should get all our constants to this side. To get rid of minus 8, we're going to add 8. So we get 3x. Okay, negative 26 plus 8 is a negative 18. This right here is multiplication, so the inverse would be to divide. And by dividing, we get 1 x, which is just x, and x equals negative 6. Here, if we're looking at the left-hand side, we have a lot going on. So we need to combine our 4x and our negative 10x. And notice, since they're on the same side of the equal sign, we are just doing what the signs tell us to do. There is no inverse operations yet. So 4x minus 10x is negative 6x plus 5, and that equals negative 23. Two-step equation, let's get our constants to the right side. To get rid of plus 5, we subtract 5. So we have negative 6x equals negative 28. And this actually isn't going to divide into negative 28 evenly. However, that's not always going to be the case, so let's practice. We're still going to get rid of our multiplication by dividing. Okay, and we can either divide this out and leave it as a decimal, or we can leave it as a mixed number. Our answer is going to be positive because a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so we don't have to worry about those. 6 goes into 28 four times with 4 left over, so x equals 4 and two-thirds. And in our last example on the page, we need to simplify both sides of our equation. Over here, we need to distribute. And on the right-hand side, we need to combine like terms. So 3 times x is 3x. 3, 3 times 7 is 21. On the other side, 9x minus 2x is 7x and we have our minus 3. Okay, now we need to get all our variables to one side and all our constants to the other side using inverse operations. We actually have two options here. We can either get these 3x's over here or these 7x's over there. 
we could say let's get rid of 7x by subtracting it, which isn't bad, but in this case it's going to make my coefficient negative. So what I try to do is I try and rearrange it so that my x stays positive. So instead I'm going to say let's get this 3x over there by subtracting 3x, which means we have 21. 7x minus 3x is 4x. So now my, all my x's are on the right side. We still have minus 3. Since my x's are on the right side, I need my constants on the left. So to get rid of minus 3, we're going to add 3. So I have 24 equal to 4x. And a final step is to divide by 4, and x equals 6.